Oh, mama, I'm in fear for my life from the long arm of the law. <laughs> hey, man, is coming down from the gallows and I don't have very long. My name is Yanni Metaxas. I'm the music director of this year's Dear Abby's group. We make music from a bunch of syllables that sound really stupid on our own. You have probably a few clips of us just running our parts and you hear like, do, do, wo, bop, bop, do, wo. Uh, but when you throw it together, it like makes this song. That sounds pretty uh, cool. <laughs> My name's Brady, I sing bass for the Dear Abbeys, and I also do a lot of our arranging. For the non-acapella people, arranging is when you take a song that you would hear on the radio, chop it up and put it back together in such a way that you can sing it acapella. We always start with warming up. You gotta warm up your voice, because your voice is an instrument. Just like when you go to the gym, you gotta, you know, warm up before you start working out. We do the same thing. We get to have a moment on stage where you just kind of feel like a little rock star. And like, not everyone gets to do that in school. We get to go all around the country and around Boston and perform for people that love to hear what we do. You know, it's it's difficult to not be a soloist when you sing in an acapella, but that's what you have to do. You have to actually think about blending, as we call it, which is matching your tone and your volume with everybody else that you're singing with so you sound like one voice. Pitch Perfect is pretty accurate, but Musically, the riff off thing doesn't really happen. You can't just like whip out an arrangement out of nowhere and it sounds amazing and perfect and everyone's auto tuned and you know, we don't compete with German armies. <laughs> we emphasize fun on stage because a lot of groups, especially nowadays, like, you know, they have a very certain vibe on stage, they keep it serious and they have beautiful chords going on. But we like to loosen up a little bit and get the audience involved. It all conforms together into one uh, fluid song at the end. And that's what we're working towards, taking those little components and working out the kinks so that they become comfortable enough that when we perform the song all together, it's all natural. And I think that it's a really rewarding feeling when you uh, learn something and you sing, but you still work together as a team. These guys are the guys that I love. These guys are the guys that I spend my whole life with, uh, you know, that I talk to in my free time, even out of the group. <laughs> men, 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 one, two, three, dudes! <laughs>